Hey, thanks for joining me for this day. Christmas is coming. Merry Christmas to you. May the fullness, the joy of the reality of Jesus be a part of your Christmas this year. I wanted to take a couple minutes to do a story that you're very familiar with, I'm familiar with, that it's worth revisiting every year, I think. This comes right after we're told that Joseph and Mary had traveled uh, to uh, Bethlehem and that Mary's firstborn had been born there, Jesus, and she'd wrapped him in cloths and laid him in a manger for there was no room in the inn. Here's where our story begins. Now there were shepherds in the fields, guarded their flocks by night, and suddenly an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord surrounded them, and they were terrified. And the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. For I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For unto you is born this day a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You'll find a babe wrapped in swaddling cloths and lying in a manger. At once there was with the angel the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, on earth peace, goodwill toward men. So we'll stop there just this little shepherd scene. But I, I wonder what impact, or actually it might have, what it might have felt like to those shepherds to have an angelic visitation and had the angel said to them that he was bringing them good news and that to them had been born this Savior unto you and that they would see and you will find this babe what would that have felt like to them? How might it have impacted these shepherds that they, lowliest of society that they were, those that were least and not respected by society, would be the first that God would send an angel to, and a multitude of angels, to declare this good news for them? How might it have felt, what, what impact might it have had when the angel said, I bring you good news, and unto you is born this day a Savior, and you will find this babe. Shepherds made evangelists. How might that have felt to them? Do you learn anything about these shepherds that in the next story, they leave everything they have immediately, and they go to see this child and worship him? It's amazing to me the dynamic of this season, isn't it? That such a simple beginning, such a humble beginning, but what might we learn about God that his first messenger about Jesus was sent to shepherds, the lowliest of society, the outcast of society? What would we learn about God? What would we learn about what God thinks of those that are today the lowliest and the outcast of society. Anything? Have you ever felt like the least, the lowest, the dumbest, the lost? Have you ever felt that way? Maybe this story is for you. Have a Merry Christmas.